Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby, baby. Thor News presents Zippity Doo Day. Zabity Doo. I like planets. How about you? What is a dwarf planet? Dangling dingleberries. Now, how much do we really know about star creation, solar formation, and dark antimatter penetration? What is a planet? The new definition they came up with was an object in a hydrostatic equilibrium, which was nearly round. It's weird when they show us pictures of Earth, it's always like totally round, but uh, Earth is nearly round. You know what I'm saying? Okay, great. I just stirred up the flat earthers. Can't do that. They get mad. Which was orbiting a star and neither another star or satellite of another planet. According to Mr. Stone, these smaller planets still qualified under that definition. The IAU wanted to label them dwarf planets, so brought in another criteria. That to be a proper planet, the celestial body must also have cleared its own neighborhood of orbital debris. Like I said, that, that definition is so vague and loose, you know? Speaking at the International Astronomy Show in Stonely Park, Leamington Spa, he said, But the new definition was only for planets in our solar system. Why do we need one for our star system and for others in the solar systems? What about planets that free flow and do not go around any star? It is a possibility, and we might have found about eight. What? Oh, really? Okay, great. Jerry Stone, who regularly appears as a TV space expert with SCAT newsreader Dermont Margrinigan. Wait, can we? Can I do that? Can I get on TV and say I'm a space expert? Hey, hey, can I do that? Hey, hey, I'm gonna get on TV and say I'm a space expert. Hey, dudes, I'm a space expert. It's my worst video ever. It's okay, I'm coming down from freak out still. Okay, great. What? Damn it, this one's gonna be long. Jupiter does not orbit the sun, so Jupiter is not a planet according to the new definition. What? Uh, that's interesting. Pluto was struck off along with the others because they have not cleared their orbital areas of debris. And Mr. Stone argued that due to meteorites still regularly striking Earth, neither have we. Now, that is a great point. And the, the whole Jupiter thing is extremely curious too because Jupiter is almost like a baby sun waiting to grow up you know what i'm saying so we haven't cleared our orbit neither has mars neither has jupiter you know because the asteroid belt between them or neptune or even your anus your anus has not cleared its orbit bro you need to, you need to get that checked out he said so only mercury saturn and uranus should be planets following the new definition it is the result of a poor definition and that that is the truth the whole whatever they did was just they were like hey let's just screw everything up so people start talking about semantics instead of talking about actual planets and the stars and solar system formation and creation and stuff. We'll just get them arguing about Pluto and whether it's a planet or not. And then nobody will give a crap about Eris. Right? It is the result of a poor definition. The revised definition was done in about four days. Oh, that's why it's so shoddy. If you rush your work, you're going to get sloppy results. That's what she said. And amen. So this is right? We only have eight planets? In the Milky Way, there are 250 billion planets billions of planets billions and billions and billions of planets and they are not differentiated between planets and dwarf planets our sun is a yellow dwarf star but is still a star it's a dwarf i didn't know that they have identified dwarf galaxies and they're still galaxies so pluto is most definitely still a planet and there is nothing wrong with jupiter so we have four terrestrial planets four gas giants and five dwarf planets making 13 planets in the solar system oh i hate math they have since found eight other dwarf planets, so that makes 21 planets. Man, do you have a chart? I'm needing charts for this stuff. He said as of October 1st, Mr. Brown had identified a list of 384 new objects in our solar system likely to be big enough to be dwarf planets, and therefore planets, according to Mr. Stone. He said with eight official planets and the five official dwarf planets, that makes 397 in total. It means the solar system is growing. So is Pluto a planet? Yes. But Gareth Williams, Associate Director of the International Astronomical Union's Minor Planet Center in Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA, d disagrees. He says, F those people. He and other astronomers who support the IAU definition feared the number would rise to 100 within a few years of 2006. Oh, that is fascinating. Busted. It looks like this wacko crackpot is right on the money. Busted. Hell yeah, I told you I was in a weird mood. Oh, cuddling must have it. Planets. Mr. Williams said, would you want to be a school kid trying to remember the names of 100 planets? I wouldn't want to remember 20. This is dead. What the hell? 
<laughs> this is that's like how science we just we do everything we can to make it easier for kindergartners. We figure out is this going to cause some kindergartner to have a headache? We can't have that happen. So like the Federal Reserve and the Treasury, they do everything they can to make sure that the stock markets stay calm and stable. And so like NASA and scientists do everything they can to make sure kindergartners stay calm and stable. That explains everything. That explains it. Now it all makes sense. <sighs> well, I'm glad we don't have fucking kids today going like, hey, dude, ah, I gotta cry. I gotta figure out to name 20 planets. So why don't we just like <laughs> cut America in half or four parts so kids don't have to remember 50 states. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, how many of those kids are really going to go to South Carolina anyway? You know, so let's just have four states. <sighs> I'm gonna lose all my speakers. But I will live. Should we allow Pluto and more objects in the solar system as planets? Yes, but they do need to limit the scope. No, eight is enough. Wasn't that a show? Who cares? What's in a name? Your mom? Alright, so that's that article. Yeah, we have hundreds of planets, dwarf planets, planetoids in our solar system. This is crazy. But, 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 but we went through the crazy together. I hope there was something in there you enjoyed. Cause I want, I want you to know that I enjoyed you. In my loneliest hours, I picture you in my mind, and we are cuddling on a hot air balloon, alone above the Rocky Mountains as the sun sets, and life is good. All right, peace out.